Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial today, and this is going to be about hopefully trying to set to rest the most common question that I get asked, and it's about why when people do a trigger event or a collision event that it doesn't work, or they walk into it and nothing happens. Now if I miss anything in this video, be sure to comment in the comment section, and I will put it in the pinned comment. If you want to do a trigger event, you need to have a collider. Any collider will do, a box collider like this. You can add components and add other types of colliders that you might want to use. And you've got a whole bunch for 2D and normal 3D colliders. The second thing that you want to remember is always set your collider to is trigger to be able to walk into it. Otherwise, it will act as a collision so you can't walk through it if you've got another object which has got a collider on it. Setting it to is trigger allows you to walk into it and that allows the Unity to detect when you've walked into a collision. You want to also, if you are using a player, which could be the default standard FPS controller, you want to make sure that it's got a tag of player because when you do your scripting, you want to reference the tag that enters that trigger itself. You want to make sure that sometimes people don't know this one, that either your player object or your object that you will walk into needs to have a rigid body, one or the other. Normally a player would have a rigid body because it's affected by physics, so that's absolutely fine. Then the things that people often ask me when you're doing coding is that when we do any sort of normal trigger event for 3D specifically, we can use on trigger enter and then we look for the reference of the player. Now the difference is in 2D is that people often run into these issues and I've had a lot of comments about it, is that instead of on trigger enter just spell as you can see above here. For 2D, we need to use on trigger enter 2D. And then when we create the reference to whatever object might enter the collision itself, for 3D, we just use collider and then specify a name as a parameter. Whereas in the 2D version, we need to use collider 2D. Because if you remember that that object will have a collider on it, but you can have a box collider 2D on it too but I can't add it at the moment because there's already a normal collider on it but remember there's two different types there's a normal one for 3d and then one specifically for 2d and the last thing to mention that if you say walk into a trigger event and you need to be able to affect the transform of your player or something when you do it you can just use physics.sync transforms which is not really related to trigger events not working but it's something to be aware of because if you walk into and try and transform the position of your character to move it somewhere else you need that line of code just to make the physics engine update so i hope that this will line out some of the things that people have specifically surrounding trigger events and like i say if you've got any suggestions be sure to comment them down below so be sure to check out my patreon all my great assets on the unity store join the community discord if it's something that you're interested in and thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.